Hey, I thought I would make something real quick. So I, in Pro Builder, I built a door, and then with a cube, I built an actual door. That's that's my door. It's fucking beautiful. So the one thing I did do with this lovely little door here is I placed it in objects, right? So there's my actual door, right? That's a, it's just a cube. And then I put a sphere there just because why not? Now I put the door as a child and I made sure the child was sitting right in the corner. So now I can rotate the child and we have like the hinge point, right? Perfect. And then I decided I should probably put a hinge joint on that. So I put it onto another point there gave it a rigid body as schematic so the door actually has gravity and its hinge joint connected to the base right so literally just a hinge joint I put a spring factor of 500 and of course I had to adjust the axes because I wanted it on that axis because I think it defaults on that axis and the hell freaking door rolls like that so we want to go on that axis. So that's a hinge joint. You can add weight and stuff to it if you wanted to. And like I said, beyond that, it's just just a door, nothing to it. So I got a camera. I haven't put a character door or anything on the camera. But what I wanted to do real quick is if we get mouse button down. Clicked and oh, let's keep that open. Let's say we do a mouse pick. And maybe maybe by layer you're gonna look for certain things. I don't know. In our case, we're gonna find a door. And One thing I would do with the door is because the way the logic will work, it, it the logic's gonna flip completely backwards if you go on the other side of it. We don't want that to happen. So what we could do is uh, get position. Form direction, right? So if we take our door and we take one on the Z, we have the doors forward. Okay, now that we have the doors forward, we can get our position. And then we can get the position of the door. Then we can vector operate that. And we're going to need normalize. So we drag all those down. Make sure everything's in order. Right. So we're going to operate, we're going to say doors position, our position, subtract, that is direction to door, and we're going to normalize direction by two door, nothing's going to be on any, every frame, and then vector three operator again, we need another operator. and doors forward to the direction to door and this is going to be a dot product and that's going to give us a float all right so float compare actually you know what let's do this um 
will compare with bools, which is on the ecosystem, the, the compare with bools. It's just going to be an easier way to do this. You don't have to do it this way. So, okay, if the dot is 1, we are facing the same direction. If it's negative 1, we're facing the exact opposite direction. So we're going to say, is it equal... Actually, we don't even need to do that. We can more or less say 0. Is it greater than 0? Um, then we are behind door. Like we're on the back side of its front facing side. Right? And that'll be true or false. Alright, so let's finish. So I'm not, I'm not actually going to use any of the events there. I'm just storing the bool. Right? So. <clears throat> Now that we have that, if I get mouse y twice, so our first one's going to be uh, starting y. Uh, I don't know if I should normalize that. No, we won't normalize it. Eh, should we normalize it? You could. All right, and then this is going to be our current y. If you don't normalize one, don't normalize the other. The first one's not going to be every frame. The second one will be every frame. Right? And now we can float operator. And we can take the I think it's current my well, if it's backwards, we'll fix it. Subtract, and we have a difference in our y's every frame. And then we have this beautiful, uh, let's do bool convert to float. So this is why we took that one bool earlier, is behind door. So this is going to be is behind door modifier. So if it's false, if we're not behind the door, we're going to be 1. If it's true, let's go with negative 1 every frame. might have to add another modifier after that but we will see so let's take the difference and the modifier multiply this is our door value I suppose and then there happens to be an action on the ecosystem called hinge set hinge joint properties So I'm going to set the hinge joint of the door that we took from here. And we're going to use the spring. The target position uses a float. We just have to have a float for a value. Right? Door value. Every frame. And then we can get mouse button up. And go back. Like I said, I haven't built a controller, so I can actually, can't actually move. But, now the other thing is you don't want this collider to be perfect so everything's completely flush because you're going to get nothing but issues and jittery crap. So with the actual door collider, make it a little smaller. Just, it, you know, it fits in there, but I mean, it's got a bit of a gap. Anyway, so if I click, if I move up or down, <clears throat> we'd have to put some sort of limiting factor on that. And it's completely reversed. So let's flip this guy. Or is it... 
this one starting to current 5 take away 10 is a much different number than 10 take away 5 All right so now if I let go it's right now <clears throat> we'd have to have some sort of logic in there for when it's done but you now if I could move it would you know but if I drag upwards he opens if I drag down he closes like I said now you, you would need some sort of limiting system here right because right now he's, he's jittering because it's the thickness here he's slamming against it and you're you're gonna want to have some limits put on these hinge joints so you can't do that all right so with that said if I take the camera since I have since I don't have a controller built let's first of all move our light on this side oh my god look how good deep and dark this is it's scary and let's move the camera on this side, right? So if I click and I move up, it's still moving forward. Drag down, it's still moving backwards. So it works. But that, and that's that one part, just that itty bitty piece right here, where we we check the dot and we store it here. Right, right now it's a false, right? It is a false. We're at point or negative point seven. So because it's a false, the multiplier is 1. But if I move the camera back over and turn the stupid light. Oh my god, that was horrible. All right, bring the camera back over here. And if I look at this guy now, you'll see that this thing is going to end up being true. See, now it's true. So now it's true, it's flipping, right? Now it's using the negative one for that multiplier. So it doesn't matter what side we're on the door. It's, it's, we just got this tiny little, we, we, we just, we get that dot product and we use that dot product to create a float through bool convert float for one to negative one. So right now it's a negative one. So it's flipping our logic for us. But anyways, there is that. Now like I said, now you'd want to put limits in it and something to do probably about this bit of a snap here. Like you'd have to almost, I don't know, catch its angle and start there maybe. You'd probably have to capture that value start from there but anyways this is a really good start I think if you wanted to control a door with mouse by dragging it so there you have that